I'm gonna tell you, you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna tell y'all because we celebrating 2K and I'm just grateful that all of y'all are here, y'all. We hit a super big, <laughs> super big milestone. In August, I am gonna be printing the Zodiac series on labels so that they can be a part of a candle collection. I'm doing all 12 of the Zodiac signs um, in these long, tall, like St. Mary's altar candles. Yeah. Y'all, I got big news. I literally have just pulled over on the side of the road because I just got the candles. Okay, the tester. These are the sample ones. These are the candles. Y'all, they are amazing. So, Kaylee is the uh, co-founder of Seattle Candle Company that's right out here local. I just literally picked them up from her house. They are in full effect. Uh, they are unscented, which I love, y'all, okay? I know for me, I'm very um, scent sensitive and I actually don't like scent. So I was like, let's just keep it unscented. It's a coconut and soy blend. So yeah, I got like the whole case. They're here. So your girl is taking a bubble bath tonight, okay? She's lighting these candles and testing them and seeing how they burn. These samples had the cleanest burn I had ever seen. I knew that yes, these were a go. That night I had immediately text Kaylee to let her know that I absolutely loved them. I noticed that for some of them, it was really important for me to trim the wick because once the once you burn it for a long time, the wick gets really long and it starts to curl back into the wax. And that's why one of the pieces has a little bit of a darker wax because I should have trimmed the wick. <laughs> the people who are going to be making the labels for the candle first of all if you are new here welcome boo okay your girl is over here in seattle washington um and i actually recently completed a three-year journey of painting all 12 of the zodiac signs i've been sharing with my patreon community all the behind the scenes process that's been going on but i figured i'd come through give y'all a little sneak peeks and now you all can see all the labels, okay? So everything is gonna be made right out here in Seattle. The company that I'm working with who's gonna make the labels is Richmark. They're actually right out here in Capitol Hill. Each painting started off as a large acrylic painting. So I had to convert it into a digital design and I used Adobe Fresco to make that happen. Here's a time lapse of me creating all the designs, starting with Aries. Hey, hey, co-creators. Welcome back to the studio. I am so geeked to tell y'all this. The reason that I'm coming to you all today. <laughs> Big news, y'all. I have officially finished the Zodiac Candle labels, okay? <laughs> now, when I say that, like that might not even sound that amazing. Hey, let me tell you why that is so amazing. <laughs> One, that means that we are getting closer to the candle collection being officially available for y'all to get them, okay? And I feel like it's perfect timing because the holiday season is coming up. My excitement just turned to dread because I discovered when I was sending the labels to the label company, I realized that I designed them in all the wrong size. Yeah. So I just had to go back and resize them, which didn't take as long as designing them, but took significantly longer than I wanted to take. I guess they're doing construction right now. It's like nine o'clock. Wow. Wow, they literally started drilling when I started recording. Yeah, y'all, it's time to wrap up. It's time to head home. Now we can celebrate. She's officially done. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna relook at them again tomorrow uh, and just make sure that they look good, that there aren't any blotches, any hard lines, anything that's looking crazy. Then I'm gonna export them all and then resend them to the team. I viscerally remember that day. Pretty much I just had to make the label shorter. The original length was extremely long and would have covered the entire candle and would not have left room for any space at the top or the bottom. So we resized them. Next, I was moving on to Taurus. 
I had a lot of fun creating each design. Each one required something different. And so I wanted to spread out the design. So Taurus was one of the paintings that was actually a square. And since I needed more room on the top and the bottom, I expanded her leaves down and brought in more color in the top region to add more dimension to the design. Oh, and she needed to be resized too. All 12 of them completely redesigned. Good times, me and Adobe Fresco. I'm competent now, I'm competent. We were having quite a few hiccups at the label company, but we moved on. So I'ma move on with the Gemini design, which is obviously my favorite because your girl is a Gemini. So I did a similar thing with her as I did with Taurus by bringing the design further down. So I duplicated her clouds as well as added more color to the top so we could have a full balanced label. <music> Both my moon and my rising are in Cancer, so this is also one of my favorites. I did a little bit of a different approach where I turned her on an angle so it could look like she was swimming down even deeper into the murky green depths of the emotions. I love this Cancer design. She's one of the most monochromatic, probably her in Scorpio, and you all will see that one coming up soon. I played around with each design to incorporate colors from the painting and to replicate those in the symbols and the text. It was strike three for the label company, y'all. And to tell you the truth, I stayed longer than I should. I recorded an entire 15 minute segment the day when I decided to find a new company and I can't find that footage. And it's probably for good reasons. I think the universe was like, yeah, no, nah, girl, you don't, you don't even need to go back to that dark place. I was in a very, very dark place when every time I got a sample from them, they looked great, they looked fine. Once I got the final labels of all the designs, they had lines in them, they had streaks, they weren't right. And I just finally made the decision to let go of Richmark label and move on to a new company. Meanwhile, Kaylee of Seattle Candle Company knows how to brighten my day. She was sending me pictures of the progress of her still pouring the candles. So I still felt like we had good momentum towards the launch. The new label company that we found was Northwest Label and they were literally seven minutes from my studio. So it worked out perfectly. They were able to provide me with some proofs. Now this experience wasn't without its hiccups, okay? Cause we are in COVID times, everything was delayed. They didn't have metallic in stock. So it took about two weeks for me to even get the proofs. But when I saw them, I fell in love. But now y'all know my heart was already traumatized. So I had to wait until I could finally see the final labels for me to get giddy. Since we were waiting on the new labels from Northwest Label, we actually used the older labels from the original uh, label company for the photo shoot. We was crunch on time and we really wanted to get the photos up. So we went through each, every single label to find the best ones that didn't have any lines or any streaks so that we could use them uh, for the photo shoot. And actually all of these still have lines and streaks, but they're super subtle and you can't see them on the camera. So they worked out perfect for the photo shoot in my studio and the one later in my backyard.
<laughs> I officially have the final, final labels. They're here. They're officially. Oh, Y'all, they are here and they're perfect. They are beautiful. My heart. My heart cannot take this, y'all. My heart. Look at fucking Capricorn. Have we given Capricorn her due diligence? Oh my God. Let me let me take it off the label so y'all can see this. Let me let y'all experience. Oh wow. The metallic magic. Oh my God, oh my God. Y'all, Sag is ridiculous, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is why I told myself, you gotta vlog this because y'all, I can't make this shit up if I try, okay? This is just redonkulous. So, your girl got giddy. She was ready to show y'all all the labels and then I noticed I'm missing one. There's 11 here. There's 12 zodiac signs. What's going on? So I emailed the label company. Josh is actually the guy I've been working with at Northwest Label. They have been um, not as good with customer service. That is okay because at the end of the day, the product has been pristine. And that's that's what I need. I don't I don't need us to be besties. I don't need us to be friends. I need my product to be perfect. And that's exactly what they provided. So I get back to the studio. I'm ready to show y'all and get them ready for Kaylee, who is Seattle Candle Company, to take them to her so that she can finally put the final labels on the candles. And yeah, I'm realizing that I'm messing with. I'm like, oh my God, the label company is closed. I email Josh. I'm like, Josh, I'm missing one. Like, maybe they left it out of the box. Like, I don't know, but I have 11 and I need 12. He's like, oh, well, can you double check? Like, like what does your packing slip say? Like, we trying to figure it out, right? And I'm like, bruh, I'm telling you I'm missing one, you know? And so, check the box again. I unravel them all. I'm like, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm tripping. No, don't find the label, okay? So I tell him, Josh, I don't see it. It's not here, okay? I'm telling you, it's somewhere there. Where you at, okay? But mind you, he's home. But thank God he lives super duper close. Thank God my studio is super close. I literally live across the bridge. If you in Seattle, I'm like right by the um, Ballard Bridge. So he's literally just on the other side of the water. So he, um, he went and he was like, it's right here. It was left on the counter. I was like, are you serious? Your girl is too much. She's overstimulated. She's clearly overstimulated. Got too much going on. I don't know if it, if it was, it, it was probably me. It was, it was knowing me. It was probably me. Okay. I know he took some out and was like looking at them with me, but yeah, I'm a just, I'm a, I'm a take it. I'm a own that. Okay. Your girl was too geek. Then we got to talking about, you know, he Aquarius, my husband a Scorpio. Look, talking too much. That's what I get. That's what I get. Shut your mouth, count your labels, and get your ass home, okay? I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So he took it. He sat it out by me. Uh, he set it outside the place, someplace safe, so I can just come pick it up. And I picked it up. I got it. So right now, I am officially in route on the way to drop off the labels to Kaylee uh, in White Center so that she can put the labels on y'all and then we can finally have this product and project out into the world. Like, oh, like my heart, like I can't take this, y'all. This has been too much, okay? If you're seeing this and there's still more candles left, you better get your goddamn candle, okay? Get your candle before they are gone. Um, Cause I ain't doing no goddamn candles again. Okay. No, I probably am y'all. I absolutely love, 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 love these candles.
candles they look so beautiful and i want as many people in the world to get them so if we need to restock i will so do a restock because they're beautiful i don't know when that's gonna be though okay that might be next year or the following year the candles are here they're ready check the website if there's some available y'all get some candles because it's first of all they're beautiful okay period point blank they're beautiful and it took a lot of time and effort and energy going into them so i would love for you all to be able to experience the magical sacred energy that these goddess hold okay headed to kaylee i'm gonna see y'all in a bit <gasps> letting the streets know look the, the boxes are ready the labels are here yeah it's just like this was not supposed to go into november <laughs> this was really Really not at all. Uh, a, wrap. a wrap at this point. Right now, I'm in Sacramento. I'm super excited because I'm seeing my sister-in-law and her new baby, little baby Jay. Andy's actually in the next room uh, rocking her to sleep. So that's why my I'm keeping my voice down a little bit. But yeah, I literally just got the message from Kaylee that she is all done putting the labels on, which was like a record time. Um, but I'm not able to do anything about it because I'm here in Sacramento in California. So, uh, Nalisha is back at the studio taking care of some things. Pretty much she's like cutting the trifolds that you all are going to get. They're going to be attached to the back of the candle. Um, huh? Food's here. Okay. And Andy's here with Baby J. I'm recording for the vlog that's going to be like next week. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, actually the food is here. My, my, uh, mom-in-law, my dad-in-law, they're here. Like, we don't even say in-laws, y'all. I'm just saying that for y'all so you can know the context. Um, but yeah, so, <sighs> I was really kind of nervous about the idea that the candles are officially ready and I'm not able to do anything about it right now, but there's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna release that. I'm not even gonna try to rush home. I literally, we just got like a one-way flight, a one-way one flight here. Didn't even really have dates or times for when we were gonna come back. So I was looking at flights. I'm like, oh, maybe I should just hurry up and go home to get them ready. But it is what it is. I'm about to enjoy my time, enjoy my time with my family and just release that. That's what I'm really working on is just like releasing. And this whole candle, it journey has been a true experiment and a true test of just releasing and letting go and let things fall into place and miraculously they truly have and i'm so grateful so i'm gonna get the food because food's getting cold i'm gonna see y'all with the next update
do have room to spread out as before we take off. I probably would spread them out as much as possible so uh -huh. they don't tip over during transit. Gotcha. Okay, so maybe the next ones I'll I bring would definitely in here. Go wide before I would go three high. Okay. Y'all, we have the candles. Oh, this looks crazy. I can't believe they're all here. Y'all, we got Taurus, we got Gemini, Cancer. Oh my God. candles all prepped oh my god i'm so tired it's 11 45 at night i'm in the studio i'm gonna probably sleep here to tell you the truth um yeah <laughs> not probably that's what i'm doing um if you live in the washington area and like know what i'm talking about i'll probably put a map up somewhere so y'all can know what i'm talking about May I put a map up here. My studio is in Ballard and the distribution company that I'm using is called The Connection. Todd is the owner and co-founder and he's been absolutely amazing. And so that's actually where I'm dropping off the candles to be shipped to you all tomorrow. Uh, the Connection is gonna be taking care of all of that for me. So if you know anything about Washington State, instead of me trying to get up at butt crack in the morning, probably 5 a.m. if I went all the way home, to get back to the studio to pick up the van and then go to Anacort. I'm like, that's why your girl got the food time, okay? <laughs> I'ma chill here for tonight and then get the candles ready, ready to go in the morning. Y'all, I'm so exhausted. We put the dust covers on. We got the literature in the back for y'all. I'm really, oh, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Like this piece is actually one of my favorite parts. Well. Not really. I feel like oh, I feel like so many parts is my is my favorite part. Okay, I I just love every aspect of these candles. But I thought that this would be great. Each candle has one. So if you got three candles, you got three of these. Because I imagine people are probably getting these as gifts for people. So I didn't want just one to be in the pack because I want y'all to share these. So um, pretty much what it says is light is your birthright and you are already worthy. I love that those are just like affirmations that help me to know that like I'm already worthy. I don't have to perform. I don't have to do anything special. And I don't have to do anything extra. I'm born worthy. I'm already worthy. It don't matter what comes next or what came before. I'm already worthy. Um, and light is my birthright. Like I don't have to live in darkness. I don't have to live in despair. I don't have to just stay in negative dark energies. And not like dark. I try to like, that's going to be a whole nother conversation actually unlearning the concept that that darkness or negative energies is negative or bad they, there's actually no there's no good or bad in, in this in this energetic field but that's the whole of the rant okay <laughs> look these are just positive affirmations for your spirit and your soul um and it's like this little trifle and on one side it says i am light i am loved I am happy, I am healthy. And then it's the picture of me splashing the water, living my best life, okay? Living my best life. If you all um, saw in the last vlog, I showed you all some of the behind the scenes of that vlog with me and Jeanette. And then in the center, I have I am and it's blank. So that's a space where you can fill in whatever affirmation resonates for your soul. And then on the back, share your light using the hashtag AO Candles. So I want y'all to share spread the word, spread the message, really just spread the message that you are taking care of yourself first and foremost. I thought this would be a cute addition since the backs are blank. This is something that's gonna go in with the package. Clearly I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, I'm headed to bed. We dropping these off in the morning. Just letting you know, your girl will be in her same shirt.
Twisted Alchemy. I think it's so cool that you have Essence Fest <laughs> shipping their stuff out. Yeah. That is That's awesome. Okay, they, kinda, you know. I bet folks know what we got. I love the records. seeing Marvin Sapp with me, okay? Y'all, the journey was real. It was long, but it was worth it. I love the candles. They came out so beautiful. I'm so grateful. Yes, I have some of them here with me. I've been burning a few of them. Oh, Gemini is a vibe. Loving all of them, loving Taurus as well. There's just like, so these are the new ones. I think the ones that you all saw um, and the photos were the older version, but they look just about the same, but actually better in my opinion. And um, yeah, so last time we talked, I had dropped off the candles to Todd. He is absolutely amazing. They're safe. They're ready, y'all. They are officially being shipped out this week. If I do what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> which I am, okay? If I gotta stay up all night to get it out, I'm getting this out to you all at the latest by Tuesday. So if you are seeing this on Tuesday, then awesome. The candles are up. They're up on the website, y'all. And I'm just, <sighs> these are for y'all. These are for y'all. Light the candle, take a bath, have it at your desk, have it in your kitchen, in your living room in the bathroom, wherever you wanna just experience joy. I hope these candles bring y'all as much joy as they brought me in painting them. Because <sighs> it was truly, truly a labor of love. There is a very special event that is taking place next year where y'all could see the original paintings in person. I actually just shared all that information with the patrons, so if you are a part of the Patreon community, you can head on over to the Mothership, and that's where you can get all the details about what's coming up next year and when y'all should save the date, okay? Because if y'all live out of state or out of town, I want y'all to fly to Seattle, okay? This is gonna be a big ordeal. I'm super excited about it. But there is a special event that's coming up. Oop. <laughs> I'm about to break it. Uh, there is a special event that's coming up 
for the holidays uh, right here in my studio in Ballard on December 4th, Saturday. We are having a holiday open studio pop-up sale. So majority of the artists who are who have studios in this building, we will open our studio up to the public. Some of us will have merch, products, all sorts of stuff. Me personally, I'm going to have the prints. I would love for you to come get them. If you live in Seattle, Washington, come through to my studio. Come see where it all goes, goes down. You can see me painting this piece. I'm actually going to pull out a couple of the Zodiac sign paintings so that y'all can see those originals in person. I'm going to put more of that information down in the description box as well as in this upcoming newsletter. So thank you all for watching this super long video for going way back in time with me all the way up to present day. Remember, if you like this video, like it and I'll see you all next week. Y'all know I like giving extra bonus footage at the end of the video. This time I'm bringing a bonus discount code that you can use on my website. Use the code Tube Team Candles to get 10% off your order. This is gonna expire. Uh, let me, <laughs> I'm literally just making this up as I go. When is it gonna expire? Uh, we'll say Black Friday. It expires by Black Friday um, at midnight, 11.59 p.m. PST. Okay, y'all head over to the website. If you are seeing this right now, you can get 10% off using the code Tube Team Candle. Thank y'all so much for watching all the way to this far like what are what are you doing here what are you doing here i can't wait to see how many people use this code yeah, yeah.